Hey boys, you for you lot think it's bad where you are? Oh, now you just can't f see no. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Start another week at Airdale. Going flipping cold again now, it's really windy. Tomorrow it's forecast torrential rain and winds never ended. We've been that busy this morning, we've just took a little van up for MOT, which we do up the horse for us, so we've got caught in traffic. Lads have gone to do a little job in BD4. Look at state of his yard now. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking of digging that out and re concreting it, I don't know. But, uh, oh, what's going on here? Good. Some new containers going in there, look. That'll, that'll be landlords out there, literally utilising every bit of space around this estate. I bet they're going to have about 20 or 30 uh, containers up there. That'll knock the wagon lads up because they used to park all their wagons there. Eh? I'm just uh, going to Carl's little. Uh, oh, we haven't seen in here yet, have we? He's got the. Um, let's turn us that radio off, Carl. He's, he's done a bit of overtime this weekend as Carl and uh, he's got his little workshop done. Look, we've got all lights, got electric. I'm sick of him morning, he's cost me about 20 grand so far. He's just going to set this sort now. Have you seen hot containers? Can you hear that? What, they're dropping them off for people to rent out? I must admit, since I've been in this yard, I've had five people come in asking for directions to come to it. Yeah, well, look, that's because it's sign up front. They're delivering them all there now. They're literally utilising every bit of space on this estate. Uh, we're kind of outgrowing here. We could do with a little bit more space, but now it's a nightmare. But anyway, so yeah, we'll leave it at that and I'll see you in a bit. But, uh, lads have gone to a job that we did a while ago, actually, and um, basically we sound a bit of palisade. And they've got a new site manager and he's ringing up saying, Basically, there's not enough concrete outposts. I mean, come on, we've been doing it 30 years. We always put the same amount of concrete outposts. And uh, basically, as it turns out, so just as being down, have a look. Um, they've actually moved this fence, they've took panels off, this and the other, and um, they've took a lot of trees down, so we think they've hit it with the trees. To top at curb, it's just over 550. To top at curb. We're all the way down there. About this is one of the posts and it's 6.30 mate to the kerb. So obviously that's where the tree was. I said that they didn't go through these panels. But if you actually have a look, they're not our bolts. Or our fish plate. We've also been coming across a lot of bolts on the floor cut off. So they've been using this as access. What won't surprise me, they've left the post exposed and whacked it when the tree's been coming down. So I've got a feeling that this one mark is, uh, they've known that they've done this and look, you see there are bolts on this one. So what's happened is they've took that out, where that tree is there, that's obviously hit it because our ground's going down and what it's done is, because these are solid, what it's done is it's ricocheted all the way down fence to the next four posts. Hence why we've done that one, that one, that one, one more there and then three down at the bottom. That there down at bottom, that's from exactly the same situation when I came down and um, all them pails were hanging off on both sides. It's just been ragged about, hasn't it? Oh, we're getting there, mate, we're getting there. So, and then, you know, try to blame us somehow. It's like, give over. Um, so, it's a bit of a sticky situation. That the main guy from the trust, you know, we get on really well. He's sort of on our side team. You know, I don't... I don't know what this guy's on about basically so it's one of those in it you know I've, I've said look we'll do it this time we'll put put your posts right to your four of them re-concrete them and whatnot obviously weather doesn't help um, you know and I'll take it on chin but it's definitely not our fault it's you know it's something they've done or other contractors have done since we've been there obviously nobody's owning up to it but I've said definitely if all happens to it it's chargeable next time so yeah, we'll just see how Carl's going because I'm in a bit of a rush actually. Hello Carl. <laughs> he's got his nice little uh, work yeah. overalls on, look. Yeah. He's happy now, look, because there's lights everywhere. There's far too much light in here. 
you need sunglasses it's that bright in here lads have just come they've finished that uh, repair some palace here and it definitely went not to do with us we've done it as a goodwill gesture really it's only because my wife works there <laughs> really it should have been chargeable but I've done it for nothing really um, I should have charged them uh, they know that as well I think I think they've been a bit cheeky if I'm honest with you the lads tomorrow are going to Gummersill where we've worked a few times uh, that's uh, three meter high stuff getting a bit more organised we're doing bits in between as we get chance so he's just in like we try to get all those posts and this palisade and everything on one there's mesh posts on here clamp bars Carl's gonna make us some like sliding shelves because what, what happens is we you always order a pan or two more for the job so you end up bringing them back and then you just get stood up somewhere <laughs> um, so them ones obviously if they're not damaged they'll go back as normal stock sometimes they might just have had a cut off so we'll put them in the sliding sort of shelves that we're gonna make same for the clamp bars and then we mix them with some things on stick forks in and we can move them about as we need. Right, good morning. We're over at Gummersall um, Primary School. It's Wednesday. It's not raining for a change. So I'll show you what we're doing. We've just took all this chain link out. We're in a tennis court here, this stretch. We've just took all this out here. Up to that, um, that metal Asgard shed there. So we'll be kicking off there, coming off there, and coming all the way along. And then um, we'll be doing these at a later date. We've done loads for uh, this school. We've done a bit of fencing there. We did a load of roll top. Last year up there, a bit here, bits round back. Should be an half decent day. It seems uh, we seem to be taking a lot of this chain link down. A lot of um, schools, they've got sort of this system here. With all the chain link and strainers on them. We're uh, sort of upgrading a lot of schools. We've done a, we've done a few nice ones. We did a nice one over in Sherbet and Elmer in summer last year. We did Bradford Girls Grammar, two massive tennis courts there. So yeah, seemed quite popular, they keep getting us back, so we're gonna post this with us a uh, we've got a a bar here with centres on which are as post and panel centres so with them being three metre you can't put the panels up the same day, they're too soft at post because they're getting banged and clattered so we'll post it, let them cure overnight and then we'll we'll panel it tomorrow. I think it's about 18 to get in so we'll have a good go at it. I reckon there'll be three or four to do tomorrow, but it's forecast really bad snow up here, uh, up in West Yorkshire, so we're just fingers crossed we can get them on and get it done and get out of this school. Good morning. The sleet and snow's finally here. I'll show you. I didn't do a video yesterday because we were still at it at 10 past five, but anyway, it's put us in good stead. We've got this posted all the way along. I think 18 we put in down there, so I'm gonna get these panels off here now ferry them downhill, get them on with clamp bars and uh, get home because it's forecast really bad so we'll get it done, you can see it coming down look I mean last time we were here funnily enough it was snowing here when we were doing this so bloody hell I'm getting back in man. right we'll be back with you soon Whew, cracky, it's coming down, well they were right about forecast it's uh, snowing, it's not quite settling yet but um it's, it's a cold one today. Um, look at the lads have got done on that three metre uh, mesh job at Gummersill. Uh, they're on the way back, they're freezing, but they've got it done, bless them. Well done boys. Yeah, so me and Justin are just going to do a final site survey at school we're doing next week. It's only around the corner, Cavendish, a um, few hundred metres to do there, and some gates and that. 
which Carl's on with um, and then we're going to measure some other gates up that we've got to get into production and then Justin's going to skip to hopefully weather holds off Hey boys, usually you lot think it's bad where you are Oh now you, know, you just can't f see no uh, For another job we've got coming up at a school there uh, and he's just got to measure the gates basically it will measure off some pictures and drawings um, which will be fine but it's just uh, we need to get the exact sort of openings of the gates so yeah well, anyway we'll uh, We'll crack on and get going. Right, this section here is going to be 52 metres in total. It's going to be coming from this post on the side all the way up to the wall. The wall's going to be crank post. Well, it's not going to be crank post. It's going to be straight vertical post up on the wall and then 1.8 metres on top of the wall all the way down. All the way down to the bottom, replacing that wooden fence and there's also a gate going in the bottom there. Oh, just a quick one here. So that's coming out, that's coming out, this is coming out, and I'll replace with a fencing panel. Fencing's going to come here, gate here, and then onto the wall. The uh, scenario here is because they can't move anything, is to obviously cut the post out below ground level, have no idea how you're going to get to that one there, um, and then the front's going to go basically post here, feed a panel through, they're going to cut this section out here. And then we're going to be able to get in there. Problem is, is how do you get the fence there, and how do you get that one there? Um, yeah, I'm going to leave you to do that, don't worry. <laughs> um, I suggest here, just with weather, it looks like the ground's just a bit soft. It just wants digging down a bit and ballast and cement in around top, just to hold it firmly in place. Oh God, bad now. <laughs> just me and Carl left. Uh, lads finished ages ago. Sent Justin ages ago, so he's got a fair old bit to go on, but I'll just turn it round, hopefully you can see. Look at proper settling now around here. Carl's just leaving. He's just been finishing some railings that we've got for the repair to do. So yeah, <laughs> luckily like I say, the lad's got done on that decent job this morning. All schools are closed in, my wife texts me her school's closed. Me and Justin were at a job we're doing next week, as I explained earlier. That was shutting as we were actually there. So yeah, it, it is getting bad round here, so I think I'll call it a day myself. Friday again already. Ooh, so it comes round every week, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, lads have actually been off today with all that snow that come down. They had a little repair to do and uh, the customer were fretting because his college were going to be closed today. I think it would have been open myself, but it was literally something no, an hour job, so we weren't that bothered about it anyway. Um, so yeah, they've been off. We've actually still gone at gym this morning, me, Carl and Jamie. In fact, Carl's here now. Say hello, Carl. Hello. We're, we're just sorting some admin stuff off behind scenes for our business together, fabrications. Um, so yeah, we're just uh, here being sat here all day doing admin, Justin's been running about doing bits and bats, delivering stuff, picking stuff up um, and doing a few surveys for jobs we're doing next week, week after. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, like I say, it still comes round every week, Friday. And I don't know what I'm still doing here, nearly three o'clock on a Friday. I've usually gone by now. It's like overtime for me, is this? I'm old school engineer, finish at one on a Friday. <laughs> I wish. I'm getting busier and busier. People keep sidetracking me. Um, so yeah, we, we've had a relatively good week. We've got to grips with stuff, uh, just getting us processes down, stuff like that. So yeah, if you uh, if you like what we do, give us a like down below. I'll give us a thumbs up. And why not subscribe while you're here? And we'll see you next time. Thank you.